So welcome to week four then. And we're at Cheltenham, no, not we're at Ascot for the Burn Handicap Chase. And we've got a big field for this one. Looks like 21 of them. Let's get a look at them. Two miles and one furlong. The top one is Douglas Warren, Derek Hinton, Bolin Soggy, David Robertson, Bound and Gad, Graham Clutterbuck, the perfect monster, Joshua Sutherland, Firth of Fourth, Carla Agrante, We Are Invincible, Paul Rhodes, Nook Hoose, Molly at Surfer, Ty Mai, Daniel French, Henry Hill, Stu Gray, Hogmanay, Alex Cherry, Fascinate, Molly at Surfer, Capacity, Daniel French, Silver Fox, Derek Hinton, Quavers, Darren Thompson, Majesty, Alex Cherry, Miller's Mate, Kevin Minahan, Tenby Crackpot, Graham Clutterbuck, Emerald Star, Jim Murray, Herbal Tea, Carla Regante, Call It A Hunch, Obi Wan, and Arnu, James Follis. So 21 runners in for the opening race of week four. Good big field for this handicap chase, and away they go. And the weather is surprisingly clement as capacity takes it into the first of 13. This could be lickety split, this one. They're all safely over the first, and capacity's in the lead from Ty Mai in second. Then comes Timby Crackpot and Firth of Fourth together. Behind that one, the yellow jacketed Call It a Hunch in Hogmanay's after that one. Herbal T's got the inside. Arnu in the blue jacket is close up today, and looking towards the back. Henry Hill is just the tail end, Charlie, as they take. That one there, which will be the second last, I think, next time round. As they come up the straight. And Capacity in the lead from Time My in second. Time May. Then comes Kenby Crackpot and Arnu. Hogman after that one as they take number three. And over that one, they all go with Henry Hill and Fascinate jumping slowly at the back. We get a view from the top of the stand. No top hats and fancy frocks today. It's National Hunt Racing at Ascot. Plus the totalisator board. Down towards the winning post, past the ambulance that's sort of facing in the right direction. And off for one complete circuit of the track. And Capacity leads by about four lengths to Time Eye in the orange jacket second. The orange sleeved Hogmanay is on the outside of Arnu. Tembi Crackpot is the grey on the rail. Tucked in behind them further fourth. Then Miller's mate and call it a hunch. Herbal tease after that one. Uh, looking towards the back, fascinating Henry Hill. I don't think I've passed anything yet between them, but they're um, over the fourth. And they're pretty well strung out here. Capacity's in the lead. Arnu has moved through nicely into second. Then comes Ty May and Tenby Crackpot. We're in a hunch and herbal tears. They take number five, and something's down there. We've lost one. Miller's mate gone. So Miller's mate unships the pilot then. When in a pretty decent position as Arnu comes up to challenge capacity. Over this ditch they go and something else is down there. There's another one gone further. Fourth has gone. So in these big fields it's difficult to tell which ones have gone straight away. But that was further fourth out of it as they take the seventh. And over that one they go then with Arnu now the clear leader by length. The capacity second. Hogmanay third. Time May four and in quarter hunch five. Then comes Tenby Crackpot and Herbal T and Emerald Star and a Bound and Gag. Silver Fox and Bolling Soggy trying to get into it as well. Looking towards the back. Still fascinating. Henry Hill struggling out the back but Arnu and Capacity then with little more than six furlongs to go you can see the stand in the distance Capacity's back in the lead over the eighth fence they go and over that one another one's gone there Silver Fox has gone quickly over the ninth and over that one they're all over it okay but it's Capacity in the lead from Arnu second Hogmane third here's the tenth over that one, another faller there and another one's gone call it a hunch has gone so the fall is coming now then Capacity's in the lead from Arnu second here comes Emerald Star in the third then Time and Herbal Tea. Hogman is running on. And after that one, Bound and Gang as they take the 11th. That's the third from home. And over that one, they all stream and all over it okay. Henry Hill's got past Fascinate, but he's got a lot of work to do. And Capacity's in the lead. Capacity then, with just the two fences in the straight to take, and three furlongs to race. Capacity has been in the lead pretty much all the way. Arnu led for a short while, that one's now beaten over the second last they go. Better jump by Emerald Star. Emerald Star now comes to challenge Capacity. Emerald Star on the outside of Capacity from Time Mine Hockman. It's between these leading two, I think, as they come down towards the final fence. It's Emerald Star in the lead. Emerald Star's a length clear. Emerald Star's two lengths clear. Coming to the final fence. Emerald Star gets over it. Capacity's got no more to give. Time May is trying to run on, but Emerald Star's going to take the opening race of the week for Jim Murray and up towards the line Emerald Star takes the burn route and he got chased Emerald Star's the winner a fast finishing Quavers just gets up to be second from time my capacity has been pipped for fourth by Herbal T then the perfect monster was after that one bound and gag we are invincible never got into it and fascinate was the last one to finish and it's a win for Jim Murray and Emerald Star with Quavers for Darren Thompson. Not only got a mention in the race, finishing second, finishing well. Herbal T for Garner Agante was third. And Time A for Daniel French, fourth. Capacity for Daniel French was fifth. So fourth and fifth for Daniel French.